We'll go ahead and look at a couple more examples of how to find exact values. Uh, so here we go. This is the sine of negative 17 pi thirds. So this time a little bit different than the last one. As you can see, our angle's negative. So what that means, we're going to rotate counterclockwise. So our uh, denominator is 3. So from here to here is one hole, which would be 3 thirds, 6 thirds, 9 thirds, 12 thirds, 15 thirds. If I rotate another half circle, it'll be 18 pi thirds. So that's too much in terms of our negative angle. But now we need to figure out, are we going to terminate in the second quadrant or in the first quadrant? Well, we have two-thirds left. Uh, here to here is a half, so two-thirds is more than a half. So we're going to terminate here in this quadrant. And what we need to do now is to figure out what our reference angle is. Well, our reference angle is between our terminal side and our x-axis. So uh, to figure out our reference angle, it's real easy. When you have a radian measure, it's just going to be pi over your denominator, as long as your denominators are 3, 6, or 4. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take 3 and divide it into 180, and we get 60 degrees. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and uh, create our nice little triangle. Uh, sides of a 30, 60, 90 are still the same, so square root of 3, 1, and 2. We're looking for our sine. So to find our sine, we know, need to know our ratio is going to be the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So square root of 3 over 2. One more example. Here, it's the secant of 495 degrees. So we'll do the exact same stuff. This time it is in degrees, so it might be a little bit easier for some people. Uh, it's a positive angle again, so we're going to rotate counterclockwise. Here to here, that's 360. So what we're going to do is figure out how many degrees we have left. So 135 degrees is what we have left. So uh, from here to here, that's 90. So I need to go another 45 degrees. So what that tells me is this, my reference angle, we're 45 degrees short, or we're 45 degrees in to this quadrant, so therefore there's 45 left because those two angles are complements of each other. And once we know our reference angle, we can go ahead and construct our triangle. So this is going to be 1, 1, square root of 2. So you need to know the signs of a 45, 45, 90 triangle. The one thing we do need to take into account is since we are in the uh, second quadrant, the x value is negative. So now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate our uh, secant. Well, what you need to know about secant is secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So the way we can calculate our cosine, the ratio of cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So we're going to do the hypotenuse, which is the square root of 2, over the adjacent side, which is negative 1. So we get negative square root of 2 as the secant of 495 degrees.